All right, appreciate you tuning in again to take a look at another one of my videos here. Uh, this is uh, my uh, Grizzly model G1015 knife blade sander buffer, one, one horsepower uh, uh, motor on this thing, and uh, I really like it. It only costs 550 bucks, and it, it just does the job. Uh, this uh, section up here is an add-on that you get from Oleon uh, Blacksmiths. Uh, it costs about $300 for the upgrade, so altogether I got under $1,000 in a, a knife maker uh, a knife, a machine that'll make knives, good and solid knives. But I did a couple of upgrades on this. Um, the the uh, the the first thing I had to do to this, I, I made myself a little uh, uh, slightly larger um, table for this tray. Um, it just works better. It's got bigger area to do the sanding, and I put a. I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's, I put a. A metal bar right here and it hooks to my bench that since their uh, little arm out here is only this like inch and a quarter I think is what it means or inch and a quarter uh, round square uh, tubular steel um, it, this thing would when you put pressure on it it, it, it would make the um, the belt ride back and forth on this because it would just flex it because it's just kind of it's just if this was bigger, you wouldn't have to do that. But uh, uh, so what I did was I hooked the, I put this piece of metal to my uh, workbench because this is permanent, and it goes up, goes behind this piece of wood here. But it it, it uh, hooks to this bar right here, it's just with one bolt. And it makes it really solid now. And I don't have that problem. So that's one upgrade. Next upgrade I did was to keep, to keep this darn dust down in here. I made a dust collector. Uh, all you do, let me set this up here. Okay, all I did on this, and then this thing really helps a lot because it's down in my garage and it makes a big dusty mess down here before I did this. I can't really, I'll just kind of show you what I did. I started out with a piece of wood on the back here. This piece here. Cut a hole in it big enough for it to fit around that center um, portion of the grinder motor. And then just take your time and then put these pieces of wood front and back just make the holes this as small as you can so the so the uh, down here is the suction or the uh, just a regular vacuum cleaner a little vacuum cleaner down there a little shop back does the job just fine don't need a monstrous unit to make it work well and then the this deal right here I like to put I put this fiberglass on it to um, so I could see what was going on down in there, make sure there's nothing, any hot embers or anything like that. I lined, I lined it with uh, with metal in there, just some tin snipped and put it in place. But then you have to kind of use your imagination. This is just to give you an idea of what you can do here. Put this on here. Get everything nice and snug so you're not losing any. Uh, vacuum areas as little as you can. Made a little deal right here to keep this from moving that in and out. Just think if you got, you just take your time and kind of watch what you're doing. You can make one of these, and then when you get done with it, uh, you just put. I just put these little stobs in there. One side's a machine screws, and the other side's a wood screw. A little I forget what you call those deals, but you know what I'm talking about. And then just put the screws on them. And then when you turn the thing on, turn the vacuum on, and what, what that'll do, see here's the only, this place right here in here, that little 
hole right there and this little hole back here is the only place that air goes in and I'm telling you it'll it'll suck up 90 or 95 percent of all of the dust that this thing will generate mainly when you're doing like uh, handles or scales you know with G10 or micarta or especially bone when you're um, uh, using the sander on, on bone makes a big fog in here it's unhealthy to breathe too you always have my mask on but it just it just gets all over everything but this right here will keep you from getting uh, yuck all over you and what I've done to keep uh, I use it even when I do my knife making but down in my uh, shop back I've got it about half full of water so any any uh, sparks that go down in through everything uh, will be directly in the water and I always check it if I'm doing a lot on knife making but uh, that's my little upgrade. It really keeps down the dust in the shop. And I appreciate you taking a look at this. If you like it, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. It helps me out. And again, thank you very much for your time.